Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and in today's video we're taking a first look at the Android 12 L Beta. Now while it's a bit of a mouthful, it's a brand new OS that's going to be coming to larger screen devices from Google in the future. So what is it, is it actually any good, and when exactly is it coming? Well, let's take a look. Now the full release of Android 12 is set for early 2022, so we've got a beta in December, January and also February and then hopefully a full release in around March, April time. Now this isn't going to be for every device out there and I'm pretty sure the L in Android 12 L stands for large because it's going to be coming to foldables, tablets and also some Chromebooks moving forward which may also hint at some future devices from Google. So maybe we're gonna get a brand new Pixel tablet, a foldable Pixel device, and of course a ton of new Chromebooks going into the new year. Now like the Android 12 beta that came before it, I'm gonna be running 12L on my Pixel 5. Now keep in mind guys, this is a brand new beta, so I wouldn't really recommend putting it on your daily driver or just in general a device you use on a daily basis. There's gonna be a ton of bugs, apps are gonna crash, and it's just not really gonna work exactly how you would expect it to. So I've taken the risk, I've put it on my device so you guys don't have to. And it's gonna be available on the Google Pixel 4 and upwards, however, not the brand new Google Pixel 6 or the 6 Pro, not really too sure why though. And it's also available on a Lenovo tablet, which I'm going to try and link in the description down below to a video of it actually running on that tablet itself, so you guys can see exactly how it's going to perform on those bigger screens. Now you can also access some Android emulators that also kind of emulate the larger screen experience that you may get with 12L. So again, I'm going to try and link everything down in the description below, along with if you do want to enroll in the beta program to get Android 12L for yourself. But like I mentioned, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. So what's actually new with 12L compared to the standard version of Android 12 that we've got recently? Now I've also done a full review on Android 12 and if you want to check that out it will be in the description down below along with everything around Material U and just in general the brand new version of Android that came out not too long ago. Now we've got a brand new wallpaper picker and this isn't groundbreaking in any sort of way but it basically allows you to select some of the previous wallpapers that you've used really quickly and really easily without having to dig into the actual wallpaper side of the settings, go in and change it, pick the wallpaper you need, you've got five options to choose from so if you are someone that changes wallpaper on a regular basis this is actually going to come in really handy for you. So next up we have a change to some of the UI animations. Now while this isn't groundbreaking in any way it's actually a nice change compared to what we've got on Android 12. A lot of people have said with Android 12 the animations themselves, while they are nice, can be a little bit slow and it may be to hide some of the loading information in the background, but again to have some nice snappy animations would be really nice and that's kind of what we're getting here with 12L. So some places where it's actually really noticeable is in the quick settings. Now we're not going to go over the quick settings because again no one really likes them with Android 12, but again in terms of the actual, you know, the way that it looks and feels, if you pull down from the top you do have a new sort of squished animation. It doesn't just pop out of nowhere like you've maybe had on previous versions of Android. So again little tweaks here and there that kind of add to the overall experience. Now again like I mentioned it's not groundbreaking in any way, but if they can shorten some of those animations or change them ever so slightly just to make them feel a little bit more snappy, I think that would do wonders for Android 12 moving forward. Now they've also brought back the Google Cast volume slider. So what I mean by that is if you're running something on a Google Home for example, you now have a dedicated slider for that audio device that is using the Chromecast feature or the Google Cast feature. So again, if I go into Spotify when I've got music playing on my Home Mini for example, I can then go ahead and change the volume and it won't affect anything on the actual system itself on device. It just does it purely for what we're gonna be using on the actual speaker itself. And again, looking at previous versions of Android, sometimes the feature was maybe a little bit better or maybe Android 11 got taken away with Android 12 but it looks like it's coming back in the newest version of Android. And while we're speaking of Android, as a bit of a thank you towards the end of the year, the first person who can link in the comments down below just how many times I say Android in this video will get a free £10 Google Play voucher. So again, go back through the video and just see exactly how many times I say Android. Now onto some more information about Android, and of course I'm running Android on my Google Pixel 5, which does run Android. Now for me, Pixel devices have always been pretty good with their haptics, however with Android 12L they've actually improved that and it's pretty good and it's in some places where I didn't really expect it. Now one of the main places where you're going to see this is in your recent applications drawer. So once you actually go into your recents, you're going to get a little bit of a haptic feedback there. And when you scroll through each one when it comes to the forefront of your apps, again you are going to get a little bit of haptic feedback just to let you know that you're going through your applications. Also when you slide them away to get rid of them from your applications, again you're going to get a little bit of feedback there as well. Now this is kind of all around the OS, there's some when you pull down the quick settings for example, go into your app drawer and just some other places here and there, and it just kind of adds to the overall feel 
of Android 12 in my opinion. Now for me, my battery life on my Google Pixel 5 hasn't necessarily been amazing recently, and I'm not too sure why, and I kind of wonder how having all these haptic vibrations every now and then is going to affect battery life in the long run, but we'll have to wait and see. And to be honest guys, that's kind of going to do it for 12L. Now for me, it's more of a tablet, foldables, or Chromebook OS, but again, having it on the Pixel line of devices gives a little bit of an indication with what we're going to see on versions of Android on Pixels, or just in general on mobile devices moving forward. So when we get to Android 12.1, 12.2, 12.3, etc., you're going to see some of these changes, I think, being implemented into future OSs. However, for Android 12L, I definitely think it's more made for those tablets, foldables, and also the Chromebook side of things. And I'm just going to throw up some screenshots here from the official Android website that kind of give you guys an indication into how exactly that's going to look and feel with some animations, screenshots to give you guys an overall, you know, first look at what that's going to look like moving forward. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see what future versions of Android 12L are going to have, so when we get to the next beta in January and February, let me know by leaving a comment down below and I'll be sure to make a video on those ones moving forward. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, now is a great time to do so. And once you've hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you're notified anytime I post a new video here on the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. And just before we head out for today's video, if you guys can comment down below exactly how many times I said Android in this video, then I'll be sending you a £10 Google Play voucher, so that's going to be the first person to do so, and I'll contact you via any social network. So again, make sure to leave your social links down below when you leave the comment on how many times I say Android. Android? See you in the next video.